Hey there, and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about Litecoin, LTC. Let's go. All right, welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, come on, go down below, hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, if you can tap the like button, I would really appreciate it. All right, Litecoin. I might. I might repeat myself here um, if you've been watching my Litecoin videos or any of my videos because I made a Litecoin video the other day and I didn't have my microphone on so I ended up not redoing it and uh, releasing my Litecoin video so I don't remember uh, which which video I talked about uh, if I talked about certain things and the one that I didn't release so we'll just have to uh, just bear with me here you might get some information again um, but hopefully it's good information. So Litecoin in the longer term, we're on the weekly time frame again. If you've been following me, um, you know, we've been following this sideways channel that we've been in. Here's the top, here's the bottom. And we've been fighting with the midline of this channel along with the 200 EMA. Uh, now, when I zoom in, it looks like we're trying, to, we're really trying hard to break above that 200 EMA. Uh, this week, there is um, 16 and a half hours to go before this candle closes. Uh, if we do close the weekly candle above it, I'm looking for possibly higher targets here. Uh, but uh, yeah, so another thing that I noticed, and this is something I'm not sure if I said in my last video that I didn't release or if it was in a previous video, but I did notice that we've got these, uh, I mean, this is kind of strange to me. Not strange, but I mean, it is a little strange, but it's just telling me that I think that Litecoin is is just following some kind of pattern. I don't know. But anyway, let's get to the point here. I got these white lines drawn here. And as you can see, we've hit it once. So we start up here. We hit the white line once. We hit it twice. We get the C19 crash. Then we come up and we hit it again and finally break through to the upside. Well, we're doing the exact same thing where we come down, we hit it once. Looks like we might hit it twice during this, this run right here. Get that rejection, come back down, and then break out. Now... The one thing that makes me wonder if we are actually going to break out instead of having this fall like we did here and then get the breakout, if this is our breakout time right now, is because this was a an event that nobody expected. It was the C19 event, and we fell dramatically right here, and then we had to go sideways for quite a bit before we finally got the breakout. Now, unless something like a C19 event comes out in the future here, which is Coincidentally, um, this was in March. Well, March is coming up <laughs> shortly. So, uh, I mean, actually, that's the end of February. So this month, so that, I mean, cross our fingers that nothing terrible happens in this month, kind of like we saw right in here where we get this big drop and then sideways action and then a breakout. Uh, but I mean, I think that there might be a chance that if this something like this doesn't happen again, we get the breakout right now. But the other thing I've been kind of uh, fighting with here with Litecoin is, is are we going to get rejected right here, just like over here? And instead of doing a, so like we had this high right here, we came back down and then we went up. So are we going to come back down, create another double bottom and then continue? Or are we just going to blast through, hit that $400 level sometime this year in 2023? Or is this going to be postponed um, until next year uh, when... A lot of people are thinking the real bull run is going to continue. The other thing that is kind of strange to me is if you look at these white lines, they look very uh, symmetrical here. And if you take a parallel channel from this to this, and we'll just follow the white line and then we'll do it a different way. Hold on. Bear with me a second. I'm going to screw this up again. I knew it. <clears throat> Let's just uh, take this and then I'll move it. <laughs> um, so as you can see, these line up perfectly. It's identical what's happening here. I mean, I drew these white lines and then I just drew this parallel channel, which makes it a perfect, uh, you know, uh, lines side by side. Uh, I can't think of the word I'm trying to think. Makes a perfect parallel channel. And um, they line up perfectly, which is kind of weird. And then so you even get... Um, the midline here is fine. You find the support on the midline, you go back up. You find some support around the midline, you go back up. So, I mean, that's just kind of a weird coincidence that I saw there. Um, but uh, 
I am expecting us. I'm I'm hoping we're going to come up, and that would actually be my per first price target as well. Which, if we did hit this white line again, my first price target has always been around the hundred and twenty dollar level. I've been talking about that since it was down in the fifty dollar level down here. Uh, so one hundred and twenty dollars is my first price target, and that's actually going to be, in my opinion, the make it or break it for this move uh, for Litecoin. Either we're going to hit this line at the one hundred and twenty dollar level, get rejected, and come back down, and then form that longer double bottom, or we're going to break through this line at the $120 level. And then possibly, let me just draw this out. I mean, this is a possible scenario. We come up, we hit this other line right here, which is the previous high over here, uh, which is sitting around the $144 level. Then we come down and we retest to this line like this. And then we continue on to the upside. This green vertical line here is the halvening. We come up, we hit the 400, and, usually, and every time a halvening comes, we do have a drop. Um, as you can see, these other green lines. So we have a drop. We come up. We have the big run up, the big run up, the drop, the drop. So maybe we get up to that four hundred dollar level before the halvening, which is going to happen in July of this year. And then we hit that four hundred, and then we come down and have our drop, and then we continue on to the upside when the major bull cycle uh, happens for all the cryptos, which is going to be, in my opinion, in twenty twenty four, twenty twenty five. Um, something like that. Now, I've been really um, thinking, I, my, my opinion has always been 2024, 2025 is the next major bull cycle. But boy, I've been seeing some charts from TechDev. If you're not following TechDev on Twitter or wherever else you can follow him or her, I don't know who it is. Um, they have been just putting some charts out there and I 100% agree with whatever they put out there. And they've really been making me think that the cycle is starting now and we're going to have our slow grind all the way up uh, to our next price targets for all our cryptos right now uh, the bottom is in and we're making our move to the upside but just kind of some things that i've been kind of working on you know i've been looking at all of tech dev stuff i've been kind of charting everything myself trying to get an idea of what i think uh, but anyway let's go down to a lower time frame for litecoin see what's going on here um so it must have been a few days since I've done a Litecoin video because my I've not extended my trend line here. Uh, so we are kind of just running up this trend line here. As you can see on the daily, we have broken above the midline. This yellow dotted line is the midline. And uh, so that is a good sign right there. The RSI still looks fantastic. Uh, we're just kind of hovering right in perfect, uh, you know, perfect area here. Uh, we did get the red dot on the cipher, but I'm not too concerned about that. Um, this could actually go for a long time, just kind of waving up here. Um, I would expect us to actually come down and retest this midline just around the $96, $97 area. Let me go ahead and put my higher high, lower high here. So this daily, as you can see, has not had a retracement. Um, so let's just put a fib from the bottom to the top. And you can see that it's been respecting a lot of these FIB levels that the 236 got rejected. Kind of found support right above that, or right around that 382 there. Found support around the 618. You can see that there's some kind of reaction to these FIBs here. So, I mean, could we continue on and just have a nice quick blast up to touch that line there? Sure, we can. Uh, but, I mean, I would like to, if this trend is going to continue, I'd like to continue to hold this trend line here that I've got drawn out. Um, and then let's go down to a lower time frame, the 12 hour. So, okay, so we do on the 12 hour have some nice support and resistance areas here. So as you can see, we had a higher high and a higher low here come in and we'll put our FIB out. And we came down and we touched the 236 FIB pretty much perfectly here and then continued on our way, which is telling me that that's very bullish. Uh, so I don't know if, if you don't know how FIBs work, if you can bounce off the 236 or the 382, that's extremely bullish. It's still bullish if you get to the 0.5, but not as. And then the 618 is, is kind of getting there. That's like the last one you're going to get before, you, you know, and you'll make a higher high after that. But once you hit that 786 where you retrace all the way down to the 786, then it's kind of letting you know that you're losing a little bit of steam. Uh, so right now we're looking really good. Uh, if we take a fib from this low to this current local high, you can see that we are again holding at the 236 area. Uh, I would not be surprised, again, if we came down to this 382 
uh, which would also allow us to retest this midline here and hold support along this trend line. So that would not surprise me, but currently I don't see that actually in the cards on the 12 hour time frame. It still looks like we're holding the 382 just nicely. We could just go sideways for a little bit, hit the trend line and go up. Um, the week is coming here soon, so the next week, so we'll see. Let's go to the four hour and see what we're looking like here. So we're continuing to make that higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low is forming. And let's put a fib here, see where we're at. Uh, yeah, so we're kind of dancing around that 236 again right now. And the two, uh, 382 lines up almost perfectly with this midline. So um, again, I'm going to, yeah, so on the shorter time frame on the four hour, it does look like possibly tomorrow we might come down and retest that midline, which would also retest the 382, or it would test the 382 Fibonacci here, uh, which makes sense to me that we would do that um, if uh, I've been saying that this whole video. So then let's go, let's look at uh, kind of a fib from the top to the bottom and see what we're hitting here. So you can see that we have come down. We came all the way up, had a wick, just about get that 786 there and get pushed all the way back down to the 0.5. Then we're making a lower high here as we're hitting the 0.5 and coming down again. And now we're getting uh, resistance around the 236. So on the lower time frame, uh, going the other direction to see resistance levels with a fib, it looks like we're making lower highs here. And again, like I said, retesting the 97-ish dollar area is not out of the cards in the short term. But uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens in the long term again. I think there's a very solid chance we get up to that $120 area. If I were to put money on it, I would say best guess is, you know, mid-February we reach this area. Um, so, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. That'd be my best guess is mid-February. So for Valentine's Day, maybe we get a nice, we get our moves up to this $120-ish dollar area. We'll just have to wait and see. But uh, that's pretty much all I got for Litecoin. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Share it with your friends. And I will talk to you later.